Oh yes, welcome. Our channel has asked us to explain how the egoic mind uh, tricks us into believing uh, we are um, imprisoned in uh, uh, situations. We wish to um, inform you that as you awaken, you would be noticing uh, the more um, of the egoic uh, um, game, and uh, it is uh, observing it but not attaching to it. To it. Um, that will um, let it go uh, so that it does not um, create your reality in a fear-based third dimension perception. When you are um, awakening and you are <laughs> feeling imprisoned, we would say the egoic mind is um, programmed to, um, <laughs> to run the belief system. You will find imprisonment in every situation. We will give examples. When you um, have a, a home, and you have a family in your home, you will um, say, oh, this home is safe, I enjoy my home. But as you uh, move into the home, you will start to create uh, fears. Maybe you will have a neighbor who is um, quite um, aggressive and uh, rude, and you will not feel safe living next door to this neighbor. Or you will um, hear a, a loud noise outside in the middle of the night and think there is a somebody uh, peeking in your windows or about to break into the house. These are old programs that the egoic consciousness is tapping into to keep you uh, living in fear. You might have a safe home with no noises, but uh, you could uh, create a feeling of imprisonment by uh, maybe um, uh, having uh, decided that uh, you no longer want to uh, wish to live with your spouse, but you feel you are stuck and trapped and so so therefore you stay or if you are in an abusive relationship and you do not leave it you uh, stay within it you might create feelings of loneliness if you um, live in alone this is another entrapment of imprisonment I am alone in my house and I am always lonely I feel uh, imprisoned by this uh, we would say in every aspect of your life uh, your egoic mind will um, wish to create or begin to create a, a fear-based um, imprisonment feeling. Uh, when you uh, go in the car, uh, many of you are worried about a car accident. This is now uh, an imprisonment that you have created um, a fear uh, on your daily drive to work. What if you looked at it in a fifth dimension perspective of I am always safe and um, observed the, the pretty landscape out the window and to uh, be in the present moment? Um, when you are driving, many of you are picking up on the, um, we would say, the uh, thoughts of uh, those uh, who are driving past you and who are afraid of car accidents. Uh, many of you will notice that you have much fear when crossing a bridge. Uh, when you are on the bridge, there are many people that are on driving uh, past you on the bridge uh, in the other direction that are full of fear of uh, going uh, uh, of the bridge collapsing or going off the road while on a bridge. Uh, you tap into the frequency of this and create this belief as your own, but uh, you weren't uh, ever afraid of it before, but now all of a sudden you are and you are having thoughts of... Uh uh, a car accident. One moment please, our channel needs water. Oh, when you uh, arrive to work or school, you are um, feeling uh, trapped in some way uh, as your egoic mind will get you to create a, a belief that um, it is of uh, uh, imprisonment uh, in your daily routine. So as you are sitting at your desk at work, you might not like a coworker and you feel uh, in prison that you always have to work with this person or maybe the workload is you are finding it too hard and you can never catch up and you feel the stress from this. This is creating another third dimension imprisonment. We would say even when you uh, do a fun, uh, something fun, uh, like go to your uh, child's uh, hockey game or soccer game, 
and you are in the stands and you are, are enjoying uh, the game um, there might be uh, it might be cold outside and all of a sudden you are a victim of the weather and you are imprisoned in this uh, uh, to be freezing uh, for the next hour as you watch the game or maybe another child uh, is um, picking on your child and you are uh, disempowered uh, to uh, go out into the field to assist your child and it you feel powerless. This is another form of imprisonment of the mind. We would say that uh, many of you are um, uh, more aware of it as you are awakening uh, of the egoic structures and how it continuously uh, will show you fear. It, when you go home after work and you are cooking supper, there is the fear of burning the supper on the stove. There are fears within every um, belief, uh, every structure in your reality. Um, we wish to say to um, when you uh, observe these uh, fears arise, do not attach to them. Uh, create a, a reality of love within every um, uh, every action throughout the day, every situation. How could I see this in the eyes of love? And then you won't uh, feel as imprisoned. It's, a, a, an, a, it's a, an illusion of the egoic uh, game that you are um, imprisoned in all these areas. We would say that um, many of you, when you go to bed at night, you, oh, I have a, a safe, warm bed, but then you have nightmares of, uh, uh, or get startled in your sleep that someone is uh, out there in the dark uh, wanting to harm you. There are many, many areas uh, in your daily activities that you are bringing uh, fear-based thoughts to uh, the situation. And we would say that you were tapping into other timelines and you are tapping into others' uh, thoughts and belief systems. When you are present in the now moment uh, and you are finding the consciousness within everything in every situation that you are in and you are allowing and not resisting, then you are connecting with the consciousness and you will see love within the situation. Ah. Ah, when you are seeing love within the situation, your egoic mind cannot um, create all these uh, um, um, fears that are, are, are not really there. Uh, we wish to say that uh, as you awaken, uh, you will notice more and more that uh, the egoic um, mind uh, uh, and belief structures do not have as much um, of a grip on you as you are not uh, attaching uh, to it. When you attach to these um, egoic mm, thoughts or structures, you uh, create fear and pain within the physical body, uh, the emotional body, the mental body, and the spiritual body. Ah, find the consciousness within everything. And um, remember that the egoic consciousness is uh, love as well. It has forgotten it is love and it is there to be loved. When uh, fears arise, love the one who is fear fearing um, the situation, love the emotion of fear, and you will transmute it back to love. Ah, oh, all is well. Ah. Oh.